aggregate demand. AD or aggregate demand is the total demand for goods and services from all the sectors in an economy or the total spending done by all the sectors. When I say all the sectors, I mean households, producers, government and the overseas sector. Let's consider an example. Household sector is made up of people and when people spend on goods and services, it is known as consumption spending. And the short form for consumption spending is letter C. Therefore, we say that aggregate demand or AD is equal to C. Now, producer sector or business sector includes businesses or firms. And when they spend on goods, it is known as investment spending. And the short form for investment spending is letter I. Therefore, now we can say is AD is equal to C plus I. The next sector that we're going to talk about is the government sector. The government has to spend in the economy as well because they need to make roads, bridges, hospitals, so they need to buy materials. And when the government is spending on the economy, buying goods and services, it is known as government spending. The short form for government spending is G. Therefore, now when we add the government sector, our AD will be equal to C plus I plus G. Overseas sector includes export and import spending. Since AD is spending on goods and services domestically, exports which are made domestically always adds to AD. While import spending on goods and services which are made overseas subtracts from AD. So this short form for exports is letter X, while for imports it's letter M. And when we subtract exports minus import, it is known as net exports. Now if we add our overseas spending to our aggregate demand, then our full equation will be AD is equal to C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Let's construct the AD graph. On your Y axis, it will be price level, while on your X axis, it could be any one of those three. Output, real GDP, or income. Remember, the short form for income is letter Y. AD is always sloping downwards. There are many reasons for this. But the main reason is that when the price is too high, people will demand less. And when the price level is low, people will demand more. 